Hello, this is John Wood from Tech Unplugged. This is the first installment in a series of tutorials which will show you how to install, assemble, and configure Monowall Firewall on an ALIX embedded system. In this first installment, I will show you how to copy Monowall onto a compact flashcard, assemble the unit, power it up, and log into the firewall for the first time. Please visit Monowall's website to download the embedded system image file and save it to your desktop. A link to this file is included in the tutorial notes. So let's get started. The first thing that we're going to do is we're going to pop our compact flashcard into a card reader so that the system can see it. In a second you'll see it pop up on the desktop. And there we have it. We're going to open up Disk Utility and we're going to find that compact flashcard and make certain that you found the right card. Any information that you enter here, if you enter the wrong information, you could potentially wipe your information off a hard drive. So make sure the size of the disk is right and that it's the proper uh, drive or compact flash card. So we have it right here. The first thing we need to know is the disk ID uh, of this particular compact flash card in the system. And it's going to differ from system to system. So we're going to right click on it and go to uh, get info or information. And as we can see here, the disk identifier, in my case it's disk 10. Uh, in your case it could be a different number. Uh, just make a note of it, jot it down somewhere because we're going to need it in the next step. So we're going to close this information right now and there is a partition, a partition that's mounted. Um, we need to close that partition otherwise we cannot write to it. So we'll right click on it and we'll unmount it. We'll give it a second and you'll see that it's grayed out and it has disappeared from the desktop. So we're going to get rid of the disk utility and we're going to bring up terminal. And in terminal, first thing we're going to do is we're going to change to our desktop where you've saved the file already. So we're going to change it to the desktop. And once we're at the desktop, we're going to issue the following command. And type in the name of the file. We only have to type in the first couple of characters. Just by hitting the tab after you've entered the fi first five or six characters, it'll fill in the rest of the information. Um, the exact command is also going to be in the uh, tutorial notes as well. Okay, now we need to type in that disk number. In my case it's 10. Whatever it is in your case, you're going to put the proper number there and you have to make sure that you put the proper number here. Uh, you could potentially wipe out a disk if you do not do this properly. So make sure of that information before you hit enter. So this is the full command, and we're going to hit enter, and it will copy that information to the compact flashcard. And when you get that message, uh, you know that you've copied the information over properly. Um, we'll close terminal, and the next thing I will show you is how to assemble uh, the unit, which is pretty simple. After we do that, I will come back and show you how to log into it for the first time. So let's go to the uh, assembly part of this uh, tutorial. Bye. All right, now we're on to the assembly portion of the tutorial. Uh, here in front we have a ALIX 2D2 system board. Uh, it has two mini PCI slots, uh, two network uh, adapters built on. You notice that the two P, uh, PCI slots are already uh, filled with cards. Uh, this one is a wireless G card and this one is a Socris uh, VPN card. Uh, this will offload um, all the calculation, the encryption portion of uh, the VPN tunnels and um, VPN clients attached to the unit. Uh, if you're going to have a lot of people attaching uh, via VPN or creating a lot of tunnels, uh, I highly suggest that you add this card to your unit as this uh, takes a lot of the uh, uh, CPU cycles uh, away from the system board itself to deal with that and puts it all onto the add-on card. All right. Uh, what you're going to need is, um, besides the board, you're going to need your case that the board is going to sit in. And the tools you'll need is you'll need a pair of pliers and a needle nose pliers and a screwdriver Phillips. Uh, the first thing that you're going to want to do is you're going to want to remove the little nuts off the front here by the serial port so that it'll slip into the case. 
just loosen them up and you can just hand unscrew them. And we'll move that to the side and we'll do the same for the other side. Okay, and that's been removed. And then basically you're going to take the compact flash card that we just um, put the um, mono wall uh, onto and we're going to insert it into the slot right here in the back and it'll just slide right in. That's all for that. Now we're going to take the case and we're going to insert it with the network adapters forward into the front so it sits in the slots or the cutouts actually. Takes a little manipulation to get it into, it's a little tight. Okay, so then that's in. The next thing we would do is you have four spots here where you're going to screw in the board to the case. Um, we'll skip that now just for time uh, purposes. If you had a wireless card, you would then slip them through the cutouts on both sides here, which we'll do real quick. And I'm going to just put these washers in. and just hand tighten these nuts for right now You have to forgive the uh, little banging sound in the background. It was a rainy day here in New York, and the rain is bouncing off the roof on the air conditioner. Okay, so that's just temporarily fixed in there. And the top of the case just slides on top, and then you would screw in. your uh, screws here to hold the case together and that would hold it in place now here in front and this is going to be important for you on this particular board which is only two network connections uh, this side is going to be your WAN port which is what you're going to connect to your uh, cable modem, DSL modem, or whatever type of internet connection you're using uh, this side is going to be your LAN um, once you, and this is your power of course, so you'll plug in your two cables, you'll plug this in, and you'll plug this into your switch or directly into your PC. This will automatically switch over, uh, cross over if it has to. And what'll, what'll happen is it'll auto assign uh, an IP address to this, and it'll be in the 192.168.1.x range. Um, and then you're going to log into this. Uh, to set up for the first time and we'll go back to that right now so basically there's nothing much to putting this together so I now have the firewall plugged into the network and powered up it is time to log into our new firewall for the first time to do that we will open a web browser and enter in 192.168.1.1 which is the default IP uh, for the firewall it will ask us for our credentials the credentials uh, are in lowercase and the username is admin and the password is mono, M-O-N-O -O. and we'll click in login and there you have it, we are logged into the firewall the basic configuration of the firewall will be addressed in the next tutorial you can find the notes for this tutorial at techunplugged.com I hope this tutorial was helpful in getting you started should you have any questions or suggestions please feel free to leave a comment thank you for taking the time to view this tutorial and there will be many more to come. Ciao.